When using a projector or smart board, we recommend extending the display on your laptop. To extend your Windows display, right-click on the desktop, choose Display Settings, change multiple displays to extend these displays. On the computer screen, log into Nearpod as an instructor. On the extended display, this is where you want to show the student view of Nearpod. Here, I'm logging in as a student on Nearpod. The reason I'm doing this is so that I can move through the slides on my teacher computer and show the student view on the projector or on the smart board without displaying student names. When using a Newline board, log into the onboard computer on a Newline board and log in as a student on Nearpod.com. On your computer, log into Nearpod as the instructor. First, double check to make sure that you have a Newline board. You'll notice that it says Newline in the front center. Then you're going to click on Built in PC. Once you click on Built in PC, you're going to log into the Newline board, just like you would log into any computer. You're going to use your Christina credentials, so type in your email address and your password, and allow the computer some time to load. Once you are logged into the computer, go to Nearpod.com and type in the Nearpod code from your teacher device. Notice the red box that says Students, and it says Join a Lesson. You're going to enter the code here and then click the blue button. I have my settings set up so that the students have to log in with their Google account in order to join the lesson. So I'm going to click Sign in with Google, and I'm going to log in with my Christina School District credentials. The teacher is now free to walk around the classroom and control the Nearpod lesson from their laptop. You'll notice there's no wires connected to the Newline board. And I can control the lesson by clicking on the next slide. And you'll notice that on the student view on the Newline board, it also advances the slide. If this is the first time that you're using Nearpod in the classroom, this is a great way for the teacher to demonstrate how to use the tools in Nearpod for the students. Here, I'm showing the students what to do in this demonstration. So I'm choosing the marker, and I'm showing them how to draw on the screen, and then click Submit in the lower right corner. 